Welcome to this video on logic. Here we're going to be looking at the use of AND, OR and NOT in computing. These occur quite a lot in programming and things like spreadsheets, so getting a handle on how the logic works is really quite helpful. My name's Andy Wicks and we're going to start by looking at some simple ideas. Let's imagine that we've got a block of all the students. Now we know that some of those students will turn up late to class. And we know that some of all of our students will actually pass. So now let's start having a look at the logic. What about those who are late and pass? Well that's this shaded area. The students in that shaded bit will both pass and be late. Not many of those, but there will be some. What about OR? Those students who are either late OR pass. Well that's going to be all of them in these shaded areas. These students will be either late OR pass. Some of those who are late will obviously fail, but we're including both sets. The next concept is NOT. Supposing we look at those who are late, but not those who pass. Well, that's this shaded area. The not stops all the passes happening. Now, what about making things a little more complicated? In this diagram, we're looking at those students who are late and pass, and then using the not. In other words, we're looking at those who are either late and fail, or pass and are on time, but not both. The final diagram will show you those who are not late or pass. If you remember back to the diagram on the or, we had late or pass being the shaded area in the middle. By making it not, we're looking at all the others. So these are the people who fail, but turn up on time. Shame about those students, I really wanted them to get through. But since you've taken the time to watch this video, I'm sure you'll be one of the set that does pass. <laughs> 